Bringing Christ to the nations and the nations to the church. Daily devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Monday, September 2nd, 2024. Keeping Faith. This daily devotion was written by Dr. Carol Geisler. The text comes from Psalm 146. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever. Wars between nations, violence in our communities, angry protests, rising crime, ridicule and disdain directed against the Christian faith, personal fears. Each of us can add to the list of the fearful things we see and experience. We know by faith that God is in control, but still, doubt can creep into our hearts. Is God really in charge? The psalmist boldly answers that our hope is in God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever. Our Creator controls the chaos and might of the oceans and sets limits for the sea. Thus far shall you come, and no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stayed. Wild creatures are fed by God's hand. He sends rain to water the earth, sustaining pasture for livestock and crops for people. The planets and stars move according to His established order. Nations and kingdoms rise and fall according to His design. He makes nations great, and He destroys them. He enlarges nations and leads them away. God our Creator is definitely in control of things. Jesus' first disciples very likely believed that the world in which they lived was out of control. Their nation was occupied by a foreign power, the Roman Empire. The people were heavily taxed and endured oppressive laws and violent riots. The disciples believed that Jesus of Nazareth was the Son of God and the Messiah. They may have hoped that he would overthrow Rome. Then Jesus was betrayed by one of his own disciples and condemned to death. Roman soldiers nailed the Messiah to a cross. Jesus died, and his body was placed in a sealed and guarded tomb. Lost in the chaos and grief of those events, Jesus' followers may have asked, Is God really in control? Yet God was in control, even in those frightening days. As the Apostle Peter would later proclaim, with understanding inspired by the Holy Spirit, Jesus was betrayed and crucified according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God. According to God's perfect timing, Jesus was raised to life on the third day after his death. The living and exalted Lord and Messiah announced, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. The crucified and risen Savior is King of kings and Lord of lords. All things, including our often confused and troubled lives, are under his control and in his care. When our faith is shaken by world events or the circumstances of our own lives, we cling to the sure hope that our Creator and Redeemer holds us safely in His hand. Even in the most troubled days, we can trust Jesus' promise, I am with you always. We can be sure that He will keep that promise, because, as the psalmist reminds us, the Lord our God keeps faith forever. We pray. Jesus, my King, I know that you have all things, including my life, in your care. Amen. Amen.